Hello and welcome. So we already learned what is compliance management and what are the different tools that we can use in order to work with uh, compliance in order to make sure that we are following the standards and our organization is uh, following all the rules, the standards, uh, and they are uh, on compliance. Uh, as we discussed in compliance management, that if an organization is not following the compliance, uh, what can happen is that they have to uh, pay fine or there is a uh, penalty on that, as well as uh, jails too. So uh, Exchange Server, uh, again, comes with different compliance tools. And in this lab, we are going to learn how can we work with one of the greatest uh, tools, compliance tools that we have, and that is called in place e discovery and hold. So let me give you a scenario or let me give you an example. What happened like a month ago, I, I just got a call from one of our users. They were just telling me that, hey, Parviz, you know what? Uh, this morning when I came in, uh, all my Outlook emails are deleted and I cannot find it. So I just told him, okay, sure, I'm just going to come in and I'm going to uh, take a look where your emails are. Uh, then what I did is, like, as an example, I just went to his inbox. So, uh what you can do in inboxes for example if i select these and i just press delete when you just simply press delete all all your emails just go to deleted items and you can just simply right click and uh, move it to uh, just move it to uh, inbox or you can recover them like you can just click here and say recover deleted item from server this is one of the other greatest options that we have so if i click in here it is going to show me all deleted items that i have and it is going to recover it from server but my concept or my idea in here is like when you delete something it goes to deleted item but what if uh, a user deletes the email let me just move it back to inbox so that i can show it to you so for example what that user did was actually he accidentally pressed shift delete and then enter so you see when you click uh, you press shift and then you uh, shift and delete it tells you that this will permanently delete do you want to continue continue yes so now it when I come to uh, deleted items, you can see there is nothing in here. So now uh, the magic of e-discovery option comes in that uh, that is one of the compliance tooling exchange server. So what I did for that user is I told him, okay, no problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just recover the emails for you. And that is going to be done through uh, our exchange server, our, not, not through your Outlook. He said, oh, all right, as long as I can get my emails. So what I did by that time, so if I go back in here, and this is uh, for Jeff Green. So uh, for example, I want to recover the emails. Uh, I'll just go to the exchange server. If you go to the exchange server now, you have got, uh, you click on compliance management, in place discovery and hold. What it does is that it, it holds your the emails and most of the time when you delete emails from Outlook, you can recover them from e-discovery options, which is one of the compliance tools. So we permanently deleted emails from this Outlook. Now what we want to do is we want to recover it for this user and then uh, just provide a PST file to that user so that he can just open his emails again. So in order to recover an email, in order to just recover permanently deleted emails, you can simply click on add, uh, just uh, add or uh, plus sign uh, and then name it. Uh, recover uh, Jeff's emails. Now press next. Okay, what do you want to do? Uh, it's going to ask you, okay, what mailboxes do you want to recover? Do you want to recover all mailboxes? Uh, do you want to recover, um, don't want to recover any mailboxes? Search for a specific mailbox. Here, what are we going to do is we are going to select Jeff's account because Jeff is the one who needs uh, to be recovered. So press next. Include all contents. If you want to include all contents, you want to include everything in here. Or, or the user tells you that, you know what, I do not need 
any other emails because all emails are there and uh, there is an email uh, that is from Parviz and is sent to Jeff so and uh, that email was sent on this date and this date is the end date so what are you doing is you're just filtering based on uh, based on your criteria and you're just adding more specific details in order to recover uh, just one uh, email for example but what are we trying to do in here is we want to uh, just recover everything uh, so you want to do what you want to hold this uh, uh, you want to hold uh, the uh, once you once it searches the emails do you want to hold it in your exchange uh, or or uh, you you want to specify a number of days in here in order to uh, in order to just just tell specify number of deals hold item uh, related to their receive date do you want to hold it for uh, ever or you just want to hold it for a specific amount of time so we are just gonna say hold indefinitely uh, it's gonna hold it and then press finish once you press finish it's gonna start looking for uh, the uh, emails and everything uh, once once uh, it was able to find it it's gonna it's gonna just it's gonna just uh, look at a, in the server like it's gonna look on the mailbox database and everything and then once uh, the emails are there and the e-discovery finds it it's gonna just show you like this for example this is the uh, other uh, one of the other uh, discovery that I did uh, and you see Parviz is showing in here estimated is succeed it's and uh, that's the size that I did for Parviz and if you ask here why it's not showing in here it's because uh, the uh, exchange server uh, which is at Sacramento uh, uh, took time to connect to the exchange server at New York and uh, finally uh, it was able to connect and you can see that 127 KB or something and there are like 19 items but if you come here to Jeff's email do you see anything in here no you do not see you only see on send item one two three four five do you see anything on deleted items no so five but you see here at 19 items, meaning 19 mails are going to be recovered. So if you want to recover it now, uh, you, what you can do is you can just click on export to PST. It's going to download a PST file, copy that, give it to the user. User will be d double clicking on that uh, on, on their machine. And then uh, it's going to load all emails into the Outlook. That That's so uh, simple thing that you can do so this is how e-discovery option works and you can hold them as long as you want like you can you can just hold them forever you can hold them um, for a specific amount of days um, and after that it's gonna be deleted so uh, I hope it was informative for you and you have learned something so this is the magic of e-discovery uh, compliance tool